In light of the victim coming forward, the opposition in a statement expressed it is necessary for Commissioner Manning to voluntarily step aside while allowing an independent and competent organ of law to clear him. The opposition called it a heinous crime that has allegedly been committed by the head of the Royal Papua New Guinea Constabulary, an institution that is supposed to prosecute crime and protect victims in such instances. The alleged victim in the circulated video claims she has been intimidated and is understandably fearful of the head of the police force. There is no doubt such allegations will have a demeaning reflection on the office of the police commissioner. The opposition also denounced the termination of the investigating officer, in which the public can see as an attempt to undermine the rule of law and pervert the course of justice, stating, It is hardly coincidental that the police officer who was assisting the alleged victim is somehow found guilty of malpractice and has been terminated from the force, these actions suggest that every effort is being made to suppress justice by elements within the police force itself. The opposition now calls on the Prime Minister to initiate an independent investigation into both the claims of the victim and the termination of Detective Pokiapon to determine if there is a case or not. Natasha Ovoy, National, MTV News.